Welcome to the Transform Your Wealth and Health podcast, where experts in wealth, health, and fitness help transform your life. Here's your host, Andy Arder. I want to talk to you today about a subject that affects many of our lives. It's aspirations. Now, I believe as I grew up in Tottenham, North London, that the aspirations of everyone surrounding me was rather low. And that's not just the pupils that went to my school, but their parents and the teachers. There wasn't anybody in particular that was going to be outstanding and go to university or achieve great things. There's no Nobel Prize winners. There's no Pulitzer Prize winners. There was nobody had any idea of any ways of which they were going to emulate somebody that had achieved great things. It just did not happen in that area and at that school in particular. But how did that come about? So it must be a mental thing amongst a huge group of people. Second best is good enough, right? Wrong. In order for us to personally or as a group achieve over and above the norm, we have to have expectations. We have to have aspirations. It's the only way for us to push each other to make things happen bigger and better. So why is it so important? Well, have you ever seen a runner or a weightlifter or even a maybe a racing driver that achieves a personal best? These people have performed over and above their norm and they've pushed their own boundaries to further their career, thus affecting their earnings and also their lifestyle and everybody around them gets lifted. So if you think enough is good enough, what I've achieved is fine in life. That's where you'll stay. That's where the people around you will stay. If you're forever pushing and forever trying to move things on, but in a good and positive way, not talking about someone whose mind's not settled, but your mind being settled, always pushing that little bit more, always trying to achieve a little bit more, but you're actually dictating it, you'll find that everybody else around you moves on too. So whenever you settle for something that's good enough, near enough is good enough, you'll find that aspirations die and achievement dies with it. Where would we be without the great inventors? Second best just wasn't good enough and they wasn't happy that the thing they were trying to achieve, let's say Faraday for example, who I believe had about a thousand experiments that he tried to produce electricity. Now if he'd have given up at 995, then where would we be now? I mean he's produced something that's been absolutely sensational for us all to use for centuries to come. So where would we all be without the people that Second best is not good enough. They give up whenever it gets hard. These people are not the kind of people that do that. One of the books that I have on Audible, which I love, is by Grant Cardone. And Grant says, let's 10x things. Let's multiply our expectations of what we'd like to achieve by 10. He then says, you might actually get somewhere towards where you need to be. As this plays out, average, let's just say that he was going to advertise a play and he was going to call it average. So an average play by average actors with average production. That would attract everybody, wouldn't it? Yeah, we'd all go flock into that. No, because that's settling for second best. So when they actually promote a play, it'll say that it's fantastic acting with brilliant production And they'll try and push things within our mind to make us come along. If you just settle for the second best, then you're quite happy to say it's average and you're going to go along. You wouldn't, would you? No. Set your goals high. Set your expectations even higher and have massive aspirations. It really works. If you subscribe to the podcast at the end of October, we're going to do a draw and everybody will get a prize. We're going to have physical books and ebooks and discounted products from the guests that are on the show so if you subscribe and send me an email at transformyourwealthandhealth at gmail.com to let me know that you've done so then we will put you in the draw and we'll make the draw at the end of October and let the winner know. I hope you enjoyed that episode and until next time start transforming your wealth and health now.